it's me Nikki here. I hope you guys are doing great and I hope you're having a fantastic week. I tell you the weekend's almost here. We've been having a lot of rain but it's kind of settling down now and so I'm sure the heat is going to come along with that but you know I'm used to it. I'm ready for it. So today's video I'm actually going to share with you five tips that I have when I'm doing kind of a impromptu summer entertaining. Last night we had some of our dear friends over. Um, They're actually visiting from England and so they came over last night for a kind of um, get back together and laugh and drinks and food and fun and it was just such a beautiful evening and it was so great catching up with them. And so in planning for that it was kind of impromptu and so you know I thought it would be the perfect opportunity to share with you some of my tips um, that I use when I'm doing kind of summer entertaining, putting something together at the last minute, that kind of thing. Because I believe that when you, you know, I believe that you can entertain stress-free. You know, I like stress-free entertaining. I like having, when my company oh, company comes over, I don't want to be stressed out and working. I want to sit down and have a glass of wine with them. And so the tips that I'm going to share with you today are going to be kind of, I'm sharing five tips that I used last night. And I'm going to actually take you on my journey of preparing last night. So I hope you will enjoy and I hope you can find some of these tips helpful. If you have tips that you use when you entertain for the summer, please share them in the comments below. I am sure we will all enjoy um, learning from you also. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and let's get right to it. Okay, before I actually get into the tips, I want to share with you the actual tablescape from yesterday. I wanted a kind of cookout, barbecue kind of inspired themed dinner. Problem being, it was so hot outside, I could not entertain outside, so I bought everything into my dining room, buffet style, but it worked fine. I wanted fruity drinks, refreshing drinks. I wanted my table decor to be very simple, but summer inspired. I wanted the foods to be kind of light, yet filling, refreshing. I wanted things that would kind of stick to you, but you know, weren't too, too heavy. And I wanted to just have a kind of simplicity to my menu and things that were easy for me to prepare, but were kind of delicious for my guests. I wanted my tablescape to be very simple. I didn't want anything that would take a lot of time for me to have to put together. And I feel like I was able to accomplish all that with my goals. Tip number one is simple decor. When you're doing a last minute kind of um, get together, you don't have time to make centerpieces or things like that. So your grocery store is a great place to go get some grocery store flowers, put them in a vase, cut up a lemon or some type of fruit and put it in the water just to give that added summer spring touch and it works out perfect. It's an inexpensive way to kind of dress up your table at the last minute. You know, you can go to your grocery store and get a bushel of flowers, a bundle of flowers for 10 bucks. These were yellow, whites, greens, perfect for summer entertainment. It was five minute job to put it all together, get you a lemon, cut it up, put it in your water, and you're good to go. You know, grocery store flowers are fine when you're doing those summer entertaining. Tip number two is white dishes. Invest in a set of nice white dishes that you can entertain with. I have found this to be so helpful over the years because white dishes, they make your food pop. You can put them with any decor. And when you're entertaining at the last minute, you don't have time to kind of match up colors and things like that. So putting out the white dishes, you can put out anything and typically it will look fine. Like I love these little pockets for my silverware here. I got these from one of my beautiful subscribers, Fatima. Thank you so much for these. They are so adorable and they looked so great on my table. I really love them. And again, because I had the white dishes, I could put these out and everything coordinated fine. It will coordinate, white dishes coordinate with any of your florals that you put out. It's a nice clean look for your summer entertaining. And they're very inexpensive. When you go in the stores, you can find white dishes and platters and things very inexpensive. So I would encourage you to invest in a set of white dishes for entertaining. Okay, tip number three is semi-homemade menus. I love those menus that are semi-homemade. Basically half of it is store-bought and, and then you just add and tweak a little bit of fresh items in it to give it just that homemade feel. It saves you so much time. And when you're putting something together at the last minute, you don't really a lot of times have time to do a lot of just kind of homemade meals. And then too, they're so time consuming, not alone and you know, you want a stress-free entertaining. So, you know, one of the girls that I love is Sandra Lee. She has some great recipes for that. One thing I did yesterday is my salsa. I took some onions and chopped them up with some tomatoes. Took all of two minutes to do. And then I poured in my store-bought salsa. And what that did was that kind of, um, instead of just kind of putting out store-bought salsa, which can tend to be kind of a little drab, 
by putting in these chunks of tomatoes and onions, it ch made it chunkier, fresher. I you know, spritzed a little lime juice over it and it just really gave it a fresh taste to it. And it was semi-homemade, and it, but it gave it more of a homemade taste to it. And it took all of five minutes to do. The same with this dessert I had. I got me some fresh strawberries and some nice plump oranges. I chopped them up and got me a store-bought pound cake, chopped it up into squares, and made these little fruit kebabs with the pound cake and the fruit. It was very refreshing. It was a nice dessert. Simple to do, easy. Tip number four, chill drink menu. The great thing about entertaining for the summer is most of the drinks need to be chilled, which means you can make them ahead of time. You know, I love doing a little spritzer um, as my guests come in, having just a little kind of refresher spritzer just to kind of kick off the evening. And I did some lime spritzers this time. They're very easy to do. You can do them ahead of time. They're very refreshing and they're a fun way to kind of kick off the evening. And these were very simple. Simple a lime. I had some lime vodka, some ginger ale, and fresh lime. Basically, simple thing to do. You can even make um, just ginger ale and not put the vodka in there if you need a non-alcoholic version. I just cut up my lime, I put them into my little shot glasses. I pour my vodka up into the top of the lime and I then just simply put them in my refrigerator to chill all day long. And then right before my guests come, I will then add the um, ginger ale at the top so that it's fresh. Now with my peach, white peach sangria, I just took some peaches that were frozen, put them in my decanter here, and then I love a lot of peaches and fruit in my sangria, which I know most people probably do. I add my white wine, a nice Chardonnay or something is perfect, and you just add that in and you can fill it up. And you know, I do this by eye, so I'm gonna try to give you measurements, but approximately I would say probably a fourth, of tea, a, fourth a cup of sugar um, in with your peaches. You know, you kind of do it to taste. And then add your ginger, ginger ale. And I add a little bit of brandy in there also to give it a little kick. And this really went over well. You put it in your refrigerator. You can chill it all day long. And, and you want to do this ahead of time. Now, I did also cut up a, a fresh peach because I wanted a little more color in mine. And it was just so delicious, so very refreshing. And then for a non-alcoholic version, I just purchased some um, sparkling lemonade, got it really chilled and cold, put it in my decanter, and that was a non-alcoholic version um, um, alternative that I could have for that evening, which was great. Tip number five, the love of the grill. That is a great thing I love about entertaining in the summer is because you can grill out, it takes a lot of the load off you because my husband loves to grill, so he will grill the corn. He All I had to do was basically prep it by putting it and soaking it in the water. He did everything else, so that worked out fine. You know, the meats, he handled that all on the grill, so that took a load off of me. So when you're entertaining and you want something last minute, grilling is so perfect. It keeps you from having to heat up your kitchen and use your oven. You know, these potatoes were great. And I I just had to do the sides and get all the potato items ready by putting the kind of sour cream things out but that's so simple to do and you can do it ahead of time so grilling is perfect for summer now lastly I wanted to share with you a quick tool that I use when I'm entertaining for like cookouts and things like that and this is this on ice condiment tray it's the neatest little thing my mom actually gave it to me but it's where you can pre put all of your condiments in there sit them in the refrigerator so that they're ready and save you time and then you sit them on ice in the acrylic tray and sit them on your table and it keeps your condiments and things cool you can get it on amazon.com for around twenty dollars so it's just a great little tool for entertaining so I hope you've enjoyed me sharing my evening yesterday and how I kind of prepped for it. Summer entertaining is always so much fun. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you're doing great. Have a beautiful day. This is Nikki saying goodbye.